All right, everyone, diving right in today. We're going to unpack this whole My Chemical uh, Romance thing, um, you know, the big 2025 tour yeah. announcement. Yeah. So I don't know about you, but like when I first saw the news, I was kind of like, oh, cool, reunion tour, right? Right. But the thing is, and this is why we're doing a deep dive today, it's so much more than that. Mm. Like we've been digging into some really interesting sources and it's clear that they're not just dusting off the old hits for this one. Definitely not. It's, uh, well, we're gonna get into it, but they're building like a whole theatrical experience around it. Yeah. Specifically the Black Parade album. It's really fascinating how they're doing that. Right I think now. totally. Yeah. And that's yeah. exactly what we're gonna uncover today. Like what makes this tour such a, I don't know, a phenomena, I guess you could say, in the music world. Absolutely. You know, I think you hit it right on the head when you said this is not just a reunion tour. Right. Because, I mean, my Chemical Romance has always been about this, like, immersive experience for their fans. You know, way back, think of their early music videos. Oh, yeah. Especially, like, Helena, for example. Oh, classic. That wasn't just a band, you know, standing there playing a song. No way. It was like a mini-movie, a story told through the music and visuals. And they really... Uh, kept that going, haven't they, throughout their whole career? Definitely. This theatrical sensibility. And I think this tour is like the ultimate expression of that, the way they framed it, like a ceremonious reinstatement of the Black Parade. Whoa. It's like they're implying that this album, you know, this beloved album was somehow suppressed, maybe during this, right. uh, yeah. this fictional concrete age, ruled by this dictator they keep hinting at in their promos. Oh, interesting. It's almost like they're inviting fans to be part of a rebellion. Yeah. You know, to reclaim the music and its message from this oppressive force. I love that. It's a it's classic My Chemical Romance. Ambitious. Intriguing. What do you think? It's seriously like we're not just going to a concert, but we're stepping into like another reality that they created. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and you know what else blew my mind? The openers they chose. Oh, yeah. It's not just like the usual bands you'd expect. We're talking Alice Cooper, Devo. Wow. Alongside acts like 100 Gex and Wallows. Interesting mix. I mean, come on. 100 Gex opening for My Chemical Romance? That's wild. 100 Gex is, you know, this hyper-pop duo all about chaotic, like almost ironic music. Right, right. And then you have My Chemical Romance, known for these huge emotional rock anthems. The contrast is pretty stark. I mean, can you imagine hearing 100 Jacks with their distorted synths and like glitchy beats? Yeah. Right before my chemical romance explodes onto the stage with Welcome to the Black Parade. I can't even picture it. All the operatic grandeur and everything. Yeah. It's a total sonic experiment, like a collision of styles that I cannot wrap my head around. Honestly, that's what's got me the most hyped for this tour. Yeah. The like sheer unpredictability of it. It definitely shows how they've grown as artists. They're not just relying on nostalgia. They're like pushing boundaries. Huh blending genres, creating this dialogue between, you know, different generations of music. Don't forget, they like exploded onto the scene in the early 2000s, part of that whole emo movement. Oh yeah. Capturing all that teen angst with songs like, I'm not okay, I promise. Such a classic. And then boom, the Black Parade drops in 2006. A huge shift. Way more complex, more theatrical sound, critical and commercial success really cemented them in music history. For sure. But they didn't stop there. Even after the breakup in 2013, their influence just kept growing, yeah. inspiring tons of new artists. So, you know, their reunion in 2019, it almost felt inevitable. It really did. Their music had become too important to stay quiet. And now this tour, it feels like the next chapter in their epic story. And what a chapter, right? Seriously, folks, this is not just a concert. It's an event. Mark your calendars. Tickets go on sale Friday. November 15th, and let me tell you, they will be gone in a flash. But here's the real question I'm left with. Mm. Is this tour a celebration of the past or a sign of what's to come? Ooh, good question. Are we seeing the victory lap for the Black Parade? Yeah. Or are we witnessing the birth of, like, a whole new era for My Chemical Romance? I guess we'll find out. Exactly. <laughs> the answer is something you're going to have to discover for yourself. That's right. So get those tickets, and let's find out together, all right? I'm in. I'm in.